Adults of Reddit, what is something every teenager needs to know? Most of your friends are the product of geographic convenience. Just because you grew up being friends with a neighbor or a fellow student, doesn't mean you owe them your undying loyalty when they start treating you like shit. Yes. It's very possible that you outgrow your childhood friends. Or just grow in different directions. At the same time. Teens should understand that once your school days are over, high school or college, finding and keeping friends takes so much more effort. Because you don't automatically see them every day. If you don't have a passion. Learn new skills. You might find your passion or something you're good at. Good advice. Also. If you do have a passion. Embrace it and don't be shy about it. I stopped associating with my former best friend of 24 years because she treated me like shit. She treats all her friends like shitty which is why more of them still talk to me than talk to her. She got me evicted last year when we shared a flat. She was inconsiderate. She was in and out of rehab, which obviously is not a reason to stop being friends with someone I know many people who have been in rehab who I am still close with. Including my brother, but she lied about why she was there each time. Turns out she's actually addicted to opiates and she stole my painkillers when I had a broken ankle and tendonitis and blamed it on her dog. She was cruel and completely lacks empathy. Also nothing was ever her fault. She'd sleep with someone's boyfriend and then be confused as to why they didn't want to be friends with her anymore. So yeah. Even if you have known someone all your life. Even if they're your only friend in the world. Luckily I have a few more. It's better to be a bit lonely than compromise your self esteem and morals clinging to a friendship with someone who doesn't value you. I may miss having someone who I can just hang out with on a moment's notice and can be a bit depressed about it but after like everyone in my life was like why are you still friends with this person? I realized I was just clinging to this unhealthy relationship for fear that without it I'd have nothing else. Edit. Went in to fix some typos but then got annoyed about it again so expanded it again. There's always more to it. Right now isn't the be all and end all. Edit. Well we thank you for the awards kind strangers. I will also say that by no means as a teen should your feelings be downplayed and this is not suggesting that your current issues are minimal. It's important to recognize how you're feeling but also don't let it consume or dictate how you look towards your future. There is always going to be a better time. To those who reached out to me. Keep pushing on. You deserve so much better. We'll get better and have exciting things ahead. The person you love at the 17th of may not be the person you love at 30. You change. They change. If you change together and are still on the same path. That's great. But allow yourselves to change. Allow them to change. And reassess whether you're simply together for loyalty or because you still really want a future together with who you both are now. Basically. Be willing to let love go. It doesn't mean you didn't love them. You both changed and it happens and it's kinda sad but will just open you up to be yourself. Learn how to cook. It's way cheaper and usually faster than takeout. When you do cook. Make sure you know what ways to make the food last and eat moderate amounts. The fact that my mom made a really big meal that could be frozen after helped us out a ton at the beginning of the pandemic when it was hard to buy new food. It may have seemed a bit boring. But we were able to eat good. Healthy meals every day because of it instead of having to survive off of ramen. This idea would also help a ton in a low income situation because you can always have at least a day or two of extra food that won't be bad for your body if you eat the same thing for a while. And if you are eating ramen. Remember that it's very salty and being dehydrated will often make you tired. More hungry and also a bit irritable. So get used to drinking a healthy amount of water each day. Even if you aren't always thirsty. People, employers, etc. will take advantage of your navy eat. In many cases this will be illegal. Yup. Always take your lunch break. There's never a time where it's too busy for you to take a lunch break. They have to give you one for a full shift and at least a break for every 4 hours. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Edit. Some states are 4 hours. Some are for over 5 hours. Some states don't have pro-employee laws so this doesn't apply. How to de-escalate difficult situations. 
and how to disagree with a teacher someone in authority without sounding like a know-it-all or in a condescending manner. For example, if a teacher says X and you are certain you learned differently, recognize that there may be certain circumstances that you may not realize that changes something. Lead the disagreement with a saying like, Excuse me. I may be wrong. But I thought learned why. This kind of phrasing does not cause the other person to be on the defensive. Which can allow gentle new instruction for you. Or a graceful face saving correction for the teacher. A situation with differing opinions doesn't have to be confrontational. Don't put off dealing with mental health issues. Developing unhealthy coping mechanisms for emotional issues will FCK you up big time down the road. If you have issues, deal with it head on. Right away. It can take time. But start the work now. Also, save for retirement. You should open a Roth IRA yesterday. Sometimes it's not just a phase and your parents. While both very intelligent functional people. RF King idiots for letting you suffer through 4 years of high school. Don't go to college for more than 2 years unless you're gonna finish it. Don't let your bank account you owe around zero. Start to save something. At least have $1000 for an emergency fund. Drinking a little is fine. Drinking at the bar every weekend. Or 3xwk will ruin your health and your wallet. Don't drink and drive. But you are allowed to have fun and nice things sometimes. And sx is not wrong. Or immoral. Do be careful about it. And most social media is a poisonous toxic lying bragfest dumpster fire. Don't waste your time except for you are immediate friend group. If you are assaulted on campus. Notify the police. Not campus security. To add to this. If you're experiencing harassment. Bullying. Or anything that isn't technically a matter for the police. Don't stop reporting it to the school until somebody actually listens to you. The first person you talk to at the school may blow you off. Go to the next person up or another department. If they say there's nothing they can do. Get them to put it in writing. People are often much more inclined to help if their actions, or lack thereof, are being recorded. When you get to driving you need to realize that the laws of physics apply to you. They aren't out to get you. They're just indifferent. Slow the FCK down and don't horse around. You're driving a very heavy machine at speeds we did not evolve to deal with. Be safe. Piggybacking off of this. Always assume that other drivers are out to get you. As some redditor said the graves are filled with plenty of people who had the right of way. Double quote. Same thing goes for conflicts emo. I'd much rather ignore a random drunk's verbal abuse than end up dead because I called them out on it. Do not take naughty pictures or record videos. Edit. The irony of the username is hilarious. But the more important thing that nobody mentioned so far is that there is absolutely no need for people to judge you based of your teenage sexual activity. Ignore sexualized media the best you can and don't measure yourself based on the size of your naughty bits or how open to sx you are. The only fans edge your life sounds intoxicating. But is absolutely draining since you're nothing more than an object to your supporters. Double quote. Second on this. Before 18. It only takes one spiteful person and you can be prosecuted for making and distribution of child pornography. Even if it's of you. We know all the tricks. We were teenagers once before a swell. I'm a teacher. But I was an awful student. But damn. I was charismatic and got away with a ton. I tell my students that. It's been 15 years now. And none of them have used an excuse or pulled a trick that I didn't do at their age but better. The best part is when I'll let them get away with it and they come back haha. Ha. I tricked you. No you didn't. I let it slide because you're depressed. But I saw right through you. Honestly. Your teens are the perfect time to begin small on creating good habits that pay off big in the long run. 1. Save and or invest 10% of any money you receive. 2. Create a habit of exercising, even just small exercises, every day. 3. Someone else said it. But it is worth repeating. Brush your teeth. 4. Figure out what you enjoy. Read and try a lot of different things. Go to camps. 
or shadow any jobs you think you might be interested in. Sometimes the job you think you'd enjoy, you find out you have no interest in at all. This will save you a lot of money, like studying pre-med and learning you hate healthcare. 5. This is a difficult one as a teen. But try to establish a decent sleeping habit. Preferably one where you wake up early. I feel like I slept my teen years away. Edit. On number 5 I meant going to bed earlier and waking up earlier. Not sleeping less. I realize teens need more sleep. Edit 2. Guys. I don't have all the answers. Those were just what came to my head at the moment. Feel free to add additional numbers. Everyone is smart. Just at different things. People can be book smart or people smart or machine smart etc. But the difference between successful people and not so much is the application and dedication you give. My nephew is 9 and his dad is already calling him dumb. Which is insane because that kid is so quick. He understands things rapidly. But he doesn't like school right now. This is something I just told him. It's exactly as lame to not do something you want to do because it's too mainstream or popular as it is to do something only because it's cool and the cool kids are doing it. Also some things seem mainstream to you. Just because you like that thing. So you have a lot of friends who do it. For example I had a friend in high school who was very good at cello. And his parents are luthiers, violin makers. Music was his passion. But he felt the field would be too competitive because everyone does it. Well, in reality it wasn't everyone. But his social circle consisted of mostly musicians. So in college he studied environmental science. And hated it. Fast forward. And he is now working in his parents shop. And learning the family trade of making violins. He still worries about competition in that field. But I think he will be successful and it's work that he enjoys. Just too bad he threw away that time and money for the college that he didn't really want to do anyway. If you don't brush your teeth. Big regrets. Don't talk too much about yourself and your private life and ideas. It will be used against you. Emotionally you are going to feel better and survive the struggles you are into. Don't breed anger. It will consume your time and energies. Time flies. I'm 38 years old. It seems yesterday I was in my 20s. Enjoy the ride. Take care of your body. Don't listen too much to the wired stuff coming from your mind. This is going to sound cliche but just be yourself. Having friends is important. But don't act like them just to fit in. You may not entirely know who you are yet. And by not being yourself. You're going to lose your true self in the mix. If you're lucky. It'll take many years and a lot of soul searching to even bring back your uniqueness. And then clump that all together to learn who you truly are. I made this mistake. I'm 37 now. It took me 20 years to undo everything. Because in college and afterwards. I was a chameleon changing my personality with each group of friends I was with. I had no idea who I was. It took a lot of work on my self esteem to re-correct my thought process. Edit. High school is really tough. As hard as it might be. Try not to feed a bully with more ammo. Ignore the person and they'll get bored and move on. Also. Try to enjoy life. Responsibly of course. You can have some great. Fun. And happy years as a teenager. Figure out what activities you love most to do. And do them. Hang out with positive people. Put yourself first. You're going to get hurt. But the feelings will pass. I promise. These are all things I didn't do as a teenager. I had a traumatic childhood and its effects really started to hit me as a teenager. It led to miserable years. When it could have been so much different. People tell you these are the best years of your life. That's bullshit. Just because you have fewer responsibilities in their eyes doesn't mean your problems are invalid. It was especially hurtful for me to hear that when I was going through depression in high school. I was already at rock bottom. But if it's all downhill from here, what's the friggin point? Learn a second language. It's good for your brain. And it's a lot easier when you're young. Get active and fit. Make it a habit. This is one of the most important ways to stave off cognitive decline as you get older. Plus, 
It's great for managing mental health during the transition to adulthood. You are not invincible behind the wheel call my even though you may feel like you are. Of all the driving age brackets. Teenagers drive the fastest and have the least amount of experience. It's not a mystery why some teenagers pay $500 per month in car insurance and some 40 year olds pay $500 per year. Every single day in this country there is a teenager somewhere being killed in a motor vehicle accident. Every single day. It's so common. It barely makes the news anymore. You're allowed to question authority. If an authority does says something you think is wrong. You're allowed to question that. He she is probably not the love of your life. Edit. To all of you that find the one when you were still babies. That's awesome. And I wish you a lifetime of happiness. Well yes and no. Two of my cousins both met their spouses in school and have been married for over 30 years now. Married later in life I must add. Just to head off the wisecracks. Much more recently the best friend of my daughter married her school sweetheart and they've just had their second kid. But I went out with my first teenage girlfriend for 4 years before we split up. I know a few people who had long term relationships that started in their teens. That ended very shortly after getting married. Don't be afraid to fail at things. Just getting into my 30s and I am finding the new generation seems to be afraid of being bad at something to the point of not trying new things. Go and try. Obviously there are things to be cautious about. But take reasonable risks on things like moving. Jobs. Work. Hobbies. Etc. It really doesn't matter what others think of you. It only matters what you think of yourself. Live your life such that you can look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and be proud of what you've done. Also. Likes from social media don't mean a thing. If you post something that gets zero likes or upvotes. You will still wake up tomorrow ready to go. Start a fitness plan habits when you're young. You won't have that metabolism forever. Don't get in the habit of drinking alcohol. It may end up running and ruining your life. If you don't have a passion yet. Don't sweat it and don't think you have to go to college straight away. Get an apartment to share with friends and job hop until you figure out what you're good at enjoy doing. Then consider college for that specific area. Take up an instrument. As a teenager you have far more time on your hands than you ever will again. Plus your brain is still plastic enough to learn things easily and quickly, relative to a fully formed brain. You still need to put the hours in. Being able to play music is such a joy that you will carry with you your whole life. And you can often form relationships off the back of it, jamming sessions. For egg. Or just bonding over your love of guitars. Appreciate what you have. Especially if you don't have much. There might come a time when your mattress on the floor and the clothes on your back are the only things you have. And you might not care at moment. But they're still yours. Appreciate them. Appreciate good times. Days with nice weather. Try to get as much joy as you can from those things. Because if you don't you won't get any from elsewhere and no one can give it to you. Later you might look back and regret spending years of your life bitterly. Emotionally fixated on negative things. Wasting your time with reading too much news or focusing on shti that won't take you forward in life. TLDR. Appreciate everything around you. Make the most of it now. Rather than later. When you make a mistake. Own up to it. People are more willing to help you when you admit you did a dumb thing. This goes for school. Work. And personal life. Forget to make a payment on a loan. Call and talk to the finance company. Mess something up on a school project. Tell your teacher and ask for a bit of leeway. Etc. People will be more likely to help you if you communicate. Start your retirement fund as early as possible. Doesn't matter if you can only afford $5 a week. It's still $5 more than you would have had otherwise. It will add up and you'll thank yourself later. The mantra 30 is the new 20 is taking it really far but even though that's extreme the basic idea is important to appreciate. You have to keep busy of course but you don't have to dive into anything that serious right out of high school. Give it 2 years at least. This isn't just because you get to enjoy procrastinating. 
It's because you're a teenager. And you're still stupid. You should wait to become less stupid so that you're in a better spot to make decisions.